I'll okay. tell you right now, I, I still even go through now, doing this documentary, I have in my quiet times thoughts of Maybe I can't do it. I can't make it. I get your mom. And, you, and now you understand the chemistry of why the food is an addict, it sounds like. I'll tell you right now. I, I still even go through now, doing this documentary, I have in my quiet times thoughts of... <sighs> Maybe I can't do it. I can't make it. I'm not strong enough. I'm, I'm, there's statistics. There's got to be some people that don't make it. I'm probably in that. Uh, maybe I'm in that lot because I keep doing the stupidest things like last night with my feet. And maybe it's just my personality. Maybe it's just my wiring, you know. Maybe I'm one of the people that can't, can't turn it around. So I'm sure your mom... Your mom felt that. She gave up. I pray you don't. No, I'm you know, I'm still fighting. So. But I I know the thought I know the the moments, right? So I can see that if she had one of those moments, she didn't come back. She just stayed. You don't just get diabetes and go walk into a doctor and say, oh, man, you caught diabetes you, right now. It's you've been, been there. You've been yeah. cooking in diabetes for 20 years. And it was like John said last night, you know, you're John Wang, Dr. Wang, the emergency room doctor that sent me to the emergency room. He says, by the time you got diagnosed, it's like, your first, it's like a heart attack. You've already had a heart attack. You've been damaging yourself for 20 years. So, and so your intention of the documentary is to well, to turn it around, to transform it, to show, hey, you know, I really, really struggle with with it, with turning it around, and I've got to lose 120 pounds, and uh, in a healthy way, not an unhealthy right. way, right? And and and. Can I reverse the neuropathy? Can I reverse some of the damage? I don't know. I hope. There's hope. Some hope. The more damage I do, the less hope there is. So if I can do it, um, what, what inspired me was the vision of somebody making a change, just like you talked about. Yeah. So if there was just one person, Here's where I find the strength. When I see, think of the one person that might be affected by this documentary that would get up off the couch, turn off the TV or the computer, um, except if they're watching this documentary. <laughs> <laughs> Wait till it's done. Uh, go outside and walk around the block. Yeah. Or go walk to, into the, your, into your porch. Go walk to your mailbox. Walk out to the, your car. Just whatever you can do, just to get up. Yeah, one step, one, one day step at a time. time. And then ask for help. Yeah. And then just start. So because if somebody can watch me do it, and I'm struggling really hard, and I'm a long way down the road of the disease path, um, 
maybe they can say, hey, or, or the one of the people I interviewed. You know, people may hear the story of your mother. She gave up. They may be right there and say, whoa, whoa, whoa. wait a minute. That's how I made my daughter feel? You know? Or my son? Or... So they may choose to live. So if someone chooses, one person chooses to live from doing this, somehow that I'm finding a tremendous amount of strength to fight this battle. So I think that's where my strength is coming from. And I draw on that.